welcome everyone to this Python workshop. We will introduce some basic uh, <laughs> grammars of Python. And maybe uh, if there are more detailed discussions, we can decide what are we, what topics are we going mm, further. For example, data analysis or image processing. So let's get started with this URL. So there is a basic uh, there is a basic uh, tutorial of Python, so please open this URL. So, uh, what operating system are you using? Windows? Linux? Does anyone of you use Linux? Okay. And OS X? Okay, okay. Uh, the Windows users need to install Python uh, using the binaries. So uh, it's it can be downloaded on python.org. <laughs> uh, since Python 2 is going to be obsolete in at the end of this year, so please download Python 3.x. So now the major version is 3.8, so please um, download this version. For Linux users, you can use Python 3 and Python 2 directly. It's already installed in the system. So I did not say anything for OSX and Linux users, so <laughs> they, already got <laughs> they already got Python installed. <laughs> yeah, it's a convention. <laughs> it is a convention. <laughs> of programming language is always start with zero and the last object is uh, length minus one. Is every is everyone following me? Okay, so let's go further. The total here is a variable, and if you type total equals to zero, that means it will create a variable in the in the scope of Python, and it will uh, the value will be remembered. Uh, for someone who has uh, more experience about language, I should say that so this is a assignment assignment of a variable, but in some other programming languages. The uh, assignment is quite different from binding. Uh, uh, we, in other languages, if we bind, bind an object uh, to a variable, it means that the object itself is cannot be modified. And if we, and the assignment will uh, create a new binding in other languages. For example, Scheme. Uh, Python here is no, um, it's not running like that. The v the virtual machine of Python does not run like that. And, and in Python, you can explicitly delete a variable using DEL. You can try that. If you want to see what variables you have, you can type DIR um, in your Python, Python uh, program. So let's try that. Everyone get the same result of 11? Do you have any questions? Yeah, right, total is a variable. 
you did not write total equals to zero in previous. Yeah, right. You see, here, where is the i is a variable. You got nine? You should check out your code. <laughs> <laughs> no, only in the only in the space in the front of the line is critical and the others are not. So does does everyone get the same result? Okay. The, this problem is the first time I've I've experienced. <laughs> this is actually from uh from the from my understanding, for for different programming languages, is it is really a bad design. There are a lot of defects in Python design. So Python Python two has, uh, some defects, and Python three solved part of them. But still, Python um, Python, in my opinion, Python is not a programming language for serious uh, development. But for uh, in my experience, I use Python for quick and dirty works. For example, for crawlers and, and uh, uh, text processing. And so, but for serious programming, I use Scheme and C++. Uh, C++ has its standard, and Scheme has its standard too, but Python is not. So uh, you can use Python in different situations, of course, but you know, take care of the defects. <laughs> So let's go further. Does everyone get the same result? <coughs> okay. So, uh, <coughs> Do I need some explanation? It it seems pretty pretty easy to understand, right? Functions. Now let's go further. Let's let's go to functions. Function is a pretty pretty important abstraction of programming languages. You know, in capture something inside and have will have a simple input and output. When I write program in assembly language, I I do not have other programming experience. So that program itself is uh, kind of uh, um, manipulating different registers. So. After that, I learned the programming language of C, and, and after that, I learned the uh, the functions. I thought it's it is pretty important for for programs. <coughs> so you see here that the input here is name, and uh, it will print uh, hello and and with with the name. So for my experience, I do not use Python interactive shell very much. So I did not notice there are difference between interactive shell and a and a running script. So I think it's not a good design. <laughs> 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 it's actually not not a good. For my experience, I have many. Uh, my I have known about many programming languages, and I've never seen anyone like that. Oh, good, good design for sure. Always write Python scripts. I use Emacs. Emacs is a editor. Yeah. It's a famous editor, <laughs> one of the best. <laughs> Here I use a function of exec, <coughs> execute. So this is uh, using the Python, the virtual machine itself, to interpret the code. So with that kind of approach, we can get the same result with without uh, a line between different statements. So, uh, so exec is a pretty uh, powerful functions in Python. Well, uh, with the exact, you can run Python code inside. You can create Python code inside of Python code. That means you can modify the running script itself to, to have some higher levels of abstraction. In some rare occasions, you need that. When you 
want to create some statement in your running time, you could use this kind of functions. I think this is powerful. And that is called a dynamic uh, uh, of a language. It's not, it means it can be, uh, it can be modified w when you run the code. So with some st uh, static languages, it cannot be. For example, the C and C++, everything is compiled. You cannot modify the running, running code when the code is running. You can try other statement like that using exact <laughs> See here, I use three uh, comma. I use three commas for uh, to uh, to say that this thing is a long <laughs> string, and the three commas cannot be in the in the string itself, so they will be quite clear and explicitly. <coughs> so the uh, strings in Python can be multi-line with that, that kind of approach, three commas. Single quote or double quote are the same in Python. Shall we go further? So let's try conditionals. String is a type of the, the integer, but no, not the integer, the variable. And you can use the str dot upper and, and the a as a variable to call that. <coughs> now we get a shopping list of this order, but if we sort it, Sort it. The result will be none. But if we type the shop list again, you can see that the order is the order has changed. This is we uh, this is we call the set effect, which is is not a good design too. <laughs> in in proper way, it should be do implemented like this. If we type the shopping list dot dot sort, uh, we we should get a new list with the new order, but the shopping list itself is remains the same. So that is a good design, but but this way is not good design. It's called non, it's not functional, and it's not. Uh, uh, right. <coughs> right. Okay. I I can show you a proper implement of this function, a better implement of this function. About Type it on my editor. Wait a moment. See that this is a proper implement uh, implement of sort. You can see that the z here is five four three two one and sort the it re returns the new list of the new or proper order. But if we type z, it remains the same. A proper way to do that is uh, like this. We can we can write this type. Of statement to use the proper sort function. So you can see that we create use a copy dot deep copy here. It will create a clone of A with its uh, with its pointer and with its data content and ru run a sort function to the new new list itself and return the list as a new object. So the A itself will remain the same here. So this is a proper way of functional programming which which is quite important in also <coughs> uh, <coughs> oh, the deep copy create a clone of this uh, of this object and and its content so after after this statement there will be two uh, two copy of of this list and they are in different memory areas of of the python virtual machine and we sort only in change uh, this one and this this list in the memory remains the same yeah right yeah this is a property proper design it confuses me a lot when using this type of method you should take care where where are the side effect the side effect is that when you 
uh, when you call a function, the fun the variable itself is changed. It's not good. It's uh, you. Uh, there will be a lot of mistakes when encounter that kind of function. In other programming languages, uh, some side effects functions that uh, has a naming convention. So if when you use that function, you will know that there will be side effect inside that function. For example, scheme use the uh, emphasize sign to see that the function has side effect. But Python, no. Yeah. No, the web is it will be a non sorted. Where? So the A will not be changed. Yeah, right. After this. Oh here you can assess the original Z here, but after Z equals to sort Z, you will have Z modified for sure. Right. Uh, it's uh, just a <laughs> demonstration of proper function implementation. <laughs> so it's a better way of using the function sort. But the sort itself at least the sort itself is quite ambiguous. You will not, not uh, reading this code, you will not, uh, you will have, you cannot imagine that the list is changed. Right? <laughs> it will be quite confusing. <coughs> okay, let's go further. So did everyone? Did everyone finish this? You have you ever tried the removal? Okay. Yeah, I think the remove will. It's better way to create a new list, too. <laughs> Oh, you can use insert. There will insert function. No, let me show you. Insert. This is the index, and this is the content. So list is not array in C, so it can have any type inside, even even the list itself. Uh, for Python assignment, the assign itself is uh, you, it works like. Uh, it works like assigning the pointer to the content itself, but it will not create a new object of itself. So if you want to if you want to create a new object, you should use the copy dot deep copy. It will create the pointer and the content itself. So when you modify one of the uh, one of the lists, the other will not be changed. No, no, you see the sort itself is a uh, uh, Sort. It does not return anything, and the and the S1 itself is changed. You you see that, you see that the sort it returns none. The sort returns none, but the S1 itself is changed. No 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 no. You do not have that function. You know that function. You you can see that the S SL or S1 SL SL. So the SL itself is changed. And you can Z equals to S. And you will have the right? And the SL is also modified. So this is a pretty tricky in programming. So if you want to if you want them to be different, you should use a copy dot deep copy. Yeah, it's pretty tricky. Yeah. Yeah. See that? It's not new variable. It's So uh, he asked a good question. If we have assignment into different lists, uh, whether the list itself is changed. So you can see that here, the Z itself is 5, 4, 3, A to 1. And we assign Z to a new variable L. So you can, 
the L will be a new variable, but it, you can imagine that the L itself is 5, 4, 3, A to 1. And now we modify the first element of Z to 999, and Z itself is 999 for sure. But we can see here that the L itself is changed to 999. So that means that the, the, the Z and the L has the same memory locations in the, in the Python virtual machine. So it's quite it's quite tricky. If you want to, if you want them to be separate, you need to use copy or deep copy. I'll I'll show you. So you can see that here the Z and the L point to different places in virtual machine. <laughs> so this is. Uh, no, no, not that. The, uh, you need to know what you are going to do. The different kinds of assignment can be used too. No, no, no. The variable of integer is quite different from variable of this. If you assign an integer, it will be quite different. I'll show you. Here, here the b is 0. And then we modify a. The b itself is not changed. It, it will cause trouble for sure, but it will save some uh, running time. Since when you assign a list to another, another variable, if you will copy all the content uh, of the of the of the list two, it will create a image. It will in memory there will be two versions of list. So it will yeah yeah it will speed it up. Uh, so when you use Python, you will know that you need to take care of this memory location. Pretty tricky. <laughs> The other important data structure, dictionaries. <laughs> in other programming languages, uh, dictionaries uh, refer to table, hash table. Uh, <laughs> or map, yeah, right. In C++, it's called map. 